Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This video is about some items that I picked up um, at a garage sale and a yard sale that my husband and I went to this past weekend. I did not film at either place because there was a lot of people wandering around and I was just afraid that they wouldn't want to be on camera. And so this video is just going to show you the items that I picked up and some of them I'll show you how I staged them or will repurpose them. So the first item I have to show you is just this Crown Vintage um, Quart Sealer. These I use now in my pantry as I'm trying to get rid of my plastic in there. So I'm using glass now and this is how I use them. The next picture shows two little uh, shakers, salt and pepper shakers that I have picked up. I collect these little miniature salt and pepper shakers and I'm going to use them in my decor once I get enough of them done. This is a picture that I'm uh, showing the ones that I have collected so far and they're just in my buffet. And the next item I picked up is this little tiny vase. It's a weeping gold vase. It's only about two and a half inches tall. Very cute. And this one says on the bottom that it is 22 karat gold made in Laana, Pennsylvania. And it looks like it's made by Holly Ross. It's a little bit blurry, so it's difficult to read. Then I found a couple more vintage kitchen items with red handles. I collect these. And this is a picture of where I have them right now in my kitchen. The next item is another little item. It's about two inches in diameter. It's a small trinket box. And I liked the decorations on it. It said that it was hand painted and made in Greece. The woman who owned this traveled extensively and she brought this back from one of her trips. This is how I've styled it on top of my mantle. The next item I picked up is this vintage kerosene can. I styled this one outside as part of my decor sitting on my patio with some other items. The next two items I picked up are these glass baubles. They're fairly large and fairly heavy. The round one is about four inches in diameter and the oblong one is about six inches long. So these ones I'm going to use in my fall decor and then in my Christmas decor because they match both. But for now, I just place them on my mantle until I decorate for fall. Then I picked up this wood carving. The lady who had the garage sale, as I said, she traveled quite a bit. She told me she brought this back from Burma and it was quite old. She didn't know the exact age of it, but it was hand carved and even the pulley inside it is hand carved wood. So I thought that was quite interesting. This I plan to use on my gallery wall inside a frame. Also, the next few items are going to be used in my gallery wall. I know I've talked about it quite a bit in the last few videos that I've recorded. And I think I now have enough that I can now make my video showing my gallery wall. So that will be coming up soon. And um, hopefully you watch for that one. The next two little picture frames also I'll be using. They're quite small. They're only about four inches. One is four inches square and the other one is about three inches by four inches. They're vintage and I really like the look of them and I'm not even going to paint the gold. They'll match well with all the other items that I've picked up as well as this gold framed mirror. Then I found this framed needlepoint. It's cross stitch and I really liked it. A lot of work went into this. This next item is an original piece of artwork. It's an oil painting. It was done in Italy by a woman and on the back is a provenance for the piece showing that it was painted in Italy, is original, and it was made and painted in 1982. 
The last item I picked up is this carved wooden frame. It's painted a dark sage green. It will also be used in my gallery wall. And that's it for today. That's all we picked up. I hope you enjoyed this video. My total spend for all the items at the garage sale and the yard sale was $23.50.